Oh, Miss Scotland is playing chess and not checkers, darling. I ain't finna mess up this bag. I'ma let this hoe scratch me, punch me, do whatever she can. Cause I'm getting this and keeping this baddie's check. I see you, Scotland, and I ain't mad at you, bitch. Let's talk about it. So the episode begins where the last one left off with Natalie being a horrible friend to Scotty. How dare you do that to your friend? That is not cool. That is not cool. She is trying to console you and to help you. She's crying, and you literally are sitting there doing the absolute most, pulling her hair. Like, this is your friend, Natalie. This is your friend, girl. So after that, Scotty goes back on the bus to tell the girls what had happened, and everyone's just like, girl, no, that's so terrible, that's so terrible. But Rolly, she comes out and wants to talk to Scotty and says, you know what? Scotty, why did you let this woman come at you like this? Why didn't you hit her back? And Scotty's just like, oh, because that's my friend. And I didn't know. And uh, uh. and Rolly's like ro yelling at her like, you don't mean crap to her. Nothing. She treats you like a bad friend. And Rolly's right. She is absolutely right. Now, what's interesting is that Krishan wanted off the bus but the security wouldn't let her get off the bus. Cause last episode I was like, well, why did Krishan stay on that bus? She should have got off. I was wrong. Krishan was trying to get off the bus. I'll let you, I'll let you have that. Now this really cracked me up. Natalie is just going on and on and on and mimicking Krishan <laughs> with the juice. <laughs> but she really did a good job because Krishan really be acting like this. She really do be acting like it. <laughs> and it's really the truth. It's really the truth. So uh, Krishan's still trying to get off the bus. She can't get off the bus. And it's just this whole thing going on. And you know what? She honestly kind of proves Natalie's point because look at what she does. She starts throwing stuff. She literally starts throwing stuff. And then, you know, it just proves everything. It proves everything. That's a big fridge, child. That's a big fridge. Just... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. I cannot. <laughs> Krishan really is a gutter snipe. We all know that. She is a gutter snipe. And Natalie is right. She is a barbarian. I mean, she really is. Like, the woman has no class, no home training. She put food. She put fingers in people's food. She takes people's drinks. She does all this shit, throws shit everywhere. Like, the woman is a hood rat. Did y'all catch Stunna on what she said in her confessionals? That she, you know, agrees with Natalie and she thinks, you know, if a good, my friend is sitting up there laughing and kikiing, hee hee hee, while I'm getting punched in the face. I would have gone off on her too. And I'm like, Stunna, I see what you're trying to do. You trying to, you trying to take Scotty's place. I see you, girl. I see you. Cause to me, there was no justification to what Natalie did. There is no justification. And then what happens is that <laughs> Natalie gets mad at Sky and tells Sky to go with, with Krishan because, you know, she's saying, get out, Krishan, get out, Krishan. Uh, DJ Sky's like, oh, no, no, no. What I got to do with it? What I got to do with it? She's just getting mad and mad and mad and mad and mad, just going off on everybody. And you know what? It's I've been in, those, in that situation where I'm just so bad that I'm just boom, boom, boom. But Natalie says something that, was is very true and this is what i have been saying for the longest time and krishan you need to take heed at this get him out of my house bro give a fuck about that little ugly ass young ass bitch she think this shit i've seen the internet go round and round in circles you will be replaced i've seen it over and over and over again Wait a minute. What the get her fuck out of going here on we here? can replace her she's disrespectful she talks crazy to everybody that is so true. You can be replaced, girl. Will the real Stunner Girl please stand up? Stunner Girl seems to be talked about more than you are, Krishan. Krishan, you seem to be on your way out. You gotta. You gotta. And disrespectful. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, because at the end of the day, Natalie can fire you, girl, and she did. Also, sidebar, 
Lola was kind of irritating me this episode. She just had a lot to say in the background and, you know, shit like that. But we'll get to later in the episode. She totally just made a fool of herself late in the episode. We'll talk about that. So regardless of all the drama, the girls have to go out and get the bag. And they're all looking good. I love the blonde hair on, on low. It's just like, girl, put, put, put tape over your mouth. See, it looks good. Like, everybody got their styles. I don't, that's kind of like a trench coat. You know, Razor, you know, she got that on. But look at what Krishan has on. Krishan is literally wearing the same sweatpants that she had on the bus in argument and everybody has changed clothes. I bet everybody has showered too, but except Krishan, I bet Krishan stank. She looked like she stank and she looked like she got bad breakfasts too. So basically on the bus, Krishan is just venting and saying, you know, Natalie ain't shit, she's disrespectful, this is my shit, I'm putting her on, I'm putting you guys on, all this, this. She just really just thinks her crap don't stink and she's really just going off, going off, going off, venting. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, also, Natalie and Stunner Girl <laughs> take a separate car. Stunner Girl, I see you, girl. I see you try to take not only Scotty's spot, but Krishan's spot as well. Girl, Stunner Girl, yeah! So they all get to the club. Natalie, you know, they, they're there. They, you know, they, they do their deal. They do whatever they gotta do. They get the bag. Da -da 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 -da. Krishan does her song, and um, she ends up dipping because she got things to do. <laughs> she got things to do! You know, Stunner Girl do her song, throw it in rotation. Throw it in rotation. Hey, hey, throw it in rotation. I like throw it in rotation. I like it better than this survive all the time. It's survive all the time. It's played out. Girl, gone with your wig, Krishan. Gone with your wig. You the flavor of last week. Your time's up, Krishan. Your time is running out. You know what was kind of whack, though? When they did the meet and greet, I mean, of course, Krishan left, but Tommy left, too, because she doesn't do that shit. And then Stunner Girl left as well, because I don't know, like, what the fuck? Like, girl... Girl, these fans make you guys. Like, they literally make you guys. I don't understand these celebrities that treat their fans like shit. Because of your fans, you are where you are today. If nobody gave a fuck about you, you would not be here on TV. These celebrities really, like, I listen, if I was a fan of a celebrity and they treated me like shit or didn't, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'd be like, ooh, I look at them differently. It's like, bitch, I do all, I buy, I buy your shit, watch your show, help you, like your post, da 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 make you buddy, and you can't even say hi? Ooh. And especially when these people have paid extra for meet and greets. I mean, don't you want some of the bag, too? So the next morning, um, Natalie talks to DJ Sky, and basically, uh, Natalie says that, you know, Krishan's gone, uh, but you can stay. And DJ Sky, you could tell she looks very relieved because she was scared. She's like, this snaggletooth ragamuffin barbarian is going to make me lose the bag, okay? But I'm happy that um, Natalie lets Sky stay because, listen, you can't put the responsibility of a grown gutter snipe, snaggle tooth. Like, the, people make so many excuses for Krishan. Oh, she's so young. Yeah, bi the bitch is 22, about to be 23, bitch. You can go to jail. And the bitch got cases open. Let's not forget that. So in the next scene, Razor, Tommy, and Biggie FaceTime Krishan. I love, you know, what Tommy has on, um, even though her stomach looks weird. We'll show that in a second. Um, and she basically, Krishan basically tells the girls that, look, like, I'm not coming back. I'm done. I hate Natalie. It's whatever. But Krishan says something that pisses Tommy off. And it's interesting. Let's play this clip. Plan. For my race, sharing my plan. Got plan. What you it's sharing? Cool. Oh no, what what you sharing? I'm sharing my platform, bro. I'm sharing my Nobody sharing. I cut off a lot of I cut off. I cut off motion to come too. fuck with y'all. So like well, I wanna really understand what you share with me. I've been having my own shit going. You see that vein? That vein came out. When you see that Tommy vein right there, you know it's going to be some shit. That vein came out, girl. That vein came out. Okay, so let's examine Tommy's stomach. I mean, it's clear she... <laughs> so funny. It's clear she got liposuction. Look, let's let's do a, a slow motion. And is it me, or does it just look like it just looks off? Like, let's just, let's watch it. It's the one. See, like, there's a like, lot of like creeps and crevices. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. It's just creeps and crevices. It just looks like it. She needs to smooth out her skin. 
You know what I'm saying? But I mean, Biggie's followed her like everywhere she go. You know, she loved Tommy Girl. Hell hath frozen over. Natalie and Rolly have a discussion. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? I really wasn't thinking that Rolly and Natalie really effed with each other since the baddie south when Rolly clocked her. And they've been able to work things out, but Rolly needs to tell Natalie what happened with, you know, Scotty wasn't good, wasn't good. But Natalie is just sticking to this story. Well, she was laughing, she was laughing, she was laughing. Da -da 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 She's not really feeling any sort of remorse for her actions for Scotty, which I was just like, Ugh. And it kind of proves, like, Rolly's point that Natalie doesn't give a fuck about anybody but herself, and she will literally fight anybody for a bag. And I'm starting to see it. It's like, Natalie, you are coming across so cold-hearted. It's like, the fuck? Sidebar, what in the entire hell is that on top of her head? Girl. <laughs> so the next scene, Stunner Girl, Kat, and Lo talk about the situation. And basically, Stunner Girl says, like, oh, you know, I don't blame Natalie. You know, if that was my friend, you know, I would expect her to jump up and beat her up, too. da 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 and then Lo London, she says something so stupid. She's like, yo, like, just how, like, Scotty, you know, should have jumped in. I feel like, you know, when Krishan beat me up, that DJ Sky should have stepped in and helped Krishan beat me up. So wait, Lo London, you wanted DJ Sky to help Krishan jump you. Uh, first of all, um, Krishan did not need any help, girl. You were on the floor with three knots on your head. I mean, look, you ended up, like, <laughs> you ended up on the floor, girl. Like, you did not, I mean, DJ Sky didn't even need to step in. Like, you literally left with three lumps on your head. Like, you, you wanted her to, you wanted six lumps? Like, how much more did you want on you? How are you gonna argue with someone and say, you should have jumped me too because your friend jumped me. You're a bad friend. Girl, Low London, you should be happy she didn't jump you. Low London, you getting on my nerves, girl. You just be talking too much and you sounded dumb in that situation. So in the next scene, Scotty and Natalie finally have their conversation. And guess what? Natalie takes no responsibility for anything. Even though Scotty is crying her eyes out, Natalie is just not letting up. Scotty, kudos to you for keeping your cool and keeping that check. Natalie, you're a bad friend, but good job uh, for kicking out that snaggletooth heifer, Krishan. Krishan, out with you. Stunner girl gonna replace you. And all these hoes are giving me life. Ah!